And I think the best example is actually what we have been doing at the headquarters of, of Danfoss. We have 250,000 square meters headquarters a little bit north of here. Uh, in 2007, we started to focus, actually when Project Zero started, we started focusing to see if we could do more. And we actually achieved, for the, uh, we reduced the heating demand by 70%, 7 zero demand, 7 zero percent from 7 until today. And then a lot of people are saying, also, the, yeah, if Danfoss wouldn't do it, who would then do it? But we can say all those initiatives we have done, zero of those have had a payback time longer than three years. So we are talking about interest rates here of 30% or more. It's very hard to find that somewhere. And the good part with energy efficiency, it's not, it's not down the drain. It's building up year after year after year. So that was the first part. The second part was exactly what, what Brian was talking about. We have also now connected to the data center we, we have up there. But I think the most important part were we have a district heating network just outside our factory. And they were building a new uh, heating plant. They had problems with the peak power for the 20 cold day where it's cold. And they were in there to see how they should ensure that capacity. When we started to discuss with them, I said, we actually have an 18 megawatt boiler we could fuel with biogas at Danfoss. Why are we not those 20 days where it's cold, you buy heat from us, the remaining part of the days we buy heat from you? Again, payback time less than three years. 